hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Laura. This is my husband, Mark. And, <laughs> and this is Lexi. Mark and I started talking about having a date night and she said she really wanted to go on a date night with us. So we have tonight with just her, the big kids are all with their other parents tonight. And so we said that we would take her on a date. Where are we going, Lex? To the underground. To the cave, <laughs> to the underground. <laughs> to the underground. Is that like a rock song or something? <laughs> to the underground sounds like it's really something that needs to <laughs> It does. We're going to Merrimack Caverns, which is not very far from our house. Um, I have not been here since I was a kid. Oh, I'm not even 100% sure that I've been there before. I'm sure that I have though, because it's a very popular, probably the most popular cave in Missouri. Very popular in the St. Louis area for sure. So anyway. I'm going to see the show. This show. <laughs> There's been billboards and it's called the greatest show under the earth. She's been very excited and looking forward to this. So say, come along with us. <laughs> Merrimack Caverns is located in Stanton, Missouri. It boasts as being one of Jesse James hideouts. Whenever he was here, he used the caves to escape after a train robbery. And they talk about that in the cave tour. But they have so much more to do at the caverns than just the cave tour. They have an adventure course with like the rock climbing wall and the rope course. They have zip lining. They have a campground there so you can stay the night and there's playgrounds. Um, and they have panning for gold stations, a couple different little shops, one with like minerals and jewels and gemstones and things like that. And the, another one that's like a candy shop inside like when you're getting ready to go into the cave tour they have a area where you can purchase food and snacks we actually ate dinner there and it was pretty good they have a souvenir shop of course which lexi had to check out <laughs> you don't want to put it down like that but like that's when you walk you can see it in front of you that is cute like so you're gonna get that yeah and that to be your souvenir prize <laughs> okay Oh crap, I weigh too much because I can't weigh over 80 pounds. You're getting on the wrong side. Is that how you get on a horse, Lex? <laughs> it is now. <laughs> get up there, partner. Foot in the stirrup. 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 Foot so get it up. Hold me in. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Is that a buck and pony, Lex? Yeah. After we had dinner and did some souvenir shopping, of course we had to get ice cream. They have like 30 plus flavors of ice cream. So I definitely recommend getting there early for your cave tour. If you make your cave tour ahead of time, I think they also will take walk-ups as well. They also have a riverboat ride that was closed, but it's called the Cavern Queen. So check their website and make sure that you know what's open during the time that you're planning on visiting beforehand. But now let's get into the actual cave tour. not get over how clear and reflective the cave water was you'll see an even more impressive shot a little later on in the tour watch your head honey yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is that other spot where I was talking about. You can see the water and like how it reflects the ceiling. It makes it look like it's like a deep cavern, but really that's just 
pretty shallow water reflecting the top part of it and another cool thing and unique to Merrimack Caverns compared to a lot of the caves that I've been to is that there was a lot of like lights and different effects with the lighting throughout the cave which made it really really fun for Lexi I think kids particularly would enjoy this cavern because of all the light shows Did you get it? Oh, came out. Came out, there it is. We got it. Our cave tour is over. Lex, what do you think about being underground? Kind of cold and kind of awesome. Kind of cold and kind of awesome. <laughs> Mark had been there like two or three. This is like your third time there, you think? Third or fourth, I don't know. I've been there a few times. Yeah. But I had some different things though, like I said that. Uh, a little pendulum thing they added was new. I definitely don't remember any of that. So if I went, I must have been really little where I don't remember any of it. Or there's another one down closer to Springfield called Fantastic Caverns. I know I've been to that one. So that might be the one that I've been to that I'm thinking of. Anyway, I think it was a good time. We had a lot of fun. Food was pretty decent. Yeah. Lexi got some souvenirs. Lexi Lou. She's got a little penny, and then they took our picture, so she immediately grabbed that and said she wanted that for her room. She got her little headlamp. And her headlamp that I... sliding off her head. <laughs> oh, well. She's got a little head. Thank you guys for coming along with us, and that is it for this video. We will see you guys again next time. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you want to see more. You do thumbs up? Thumbs up, Lux. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.